I want you guys to take a look at this number. This is the number of courses of antibiotics that are prescribed every day in the United States. 133 million new courses of antibiotics are prescribed every single day in the United States. This is the equivalent to 69 billion doses of antibiotics every year. That's more than 10 times the amount of people on the entire planet. Needless to say, antibiotics are a marvel of modern medicine. But our overuse and misuse of these drugs are rendering them useless. When patients do not follow doctor's orders to um, finish the full course of antibiotics, they are allowing these bacteria to evolve. By not finishing the full course, not all of the bacteria in the body are killed off, and the remaining bacteria will begin to develop a resistance to these antibiotics so that if they are exposed again, they do not die. But um, misuse of antibiotics was very prevalent in the 1960s. Oftentimes, people would not finish the course of antibiotics and would just stop when they felt better. Now, I know this because my grandfather, still to this day, has never finished a course of antibiotics in his life. Every time he gets a prescription, he will take it until he feels better and then just save the rest of the pills for when he gets sick again. <laughs> and I really blame this on a lack of information back then. There was no real defining research that kind of said, if you do this with antibiotics, this will be the effect in the future. There was no research to kind of let them know that what they were doing will have consequences in the future. It is human nature to kind of focus on the now and kind of lose sight of the future. This can be seen with college students, that they do not look to the future enough to not procrastinate their work. And doctors and patients are using antibiotics without worrying about the consequences in the future. And these, can be, these effects can be seen today. This year, 100,000 people will die from infectious diseases that were preventable 50 years ago. To give you a little perspective, this year only 50,000 people will die from car accidents. That's twice as many people who will die from infectious diseases that could have been prevented 50 years ago with the use of antibiotics. But with bacterial evolution, they have now become resistant to the bacteria that were effective back then. Now, it's clear that there's a problem, and it's clear that we need a solution. So researchers have come up with two approaches to tackle this problem. The first approach is to simply make new drugs. They say that we need to continuously make new drugs to combat all of the new strains of bacteria that are presenting themselves. So for each strain that comes up and is resistant to one of our antibiotics, we just make a new drug to combat that specific strain. But more and more over time, these drugs will become more and more costly, and drug companies will have financial pressures that will not allow them to financially continue making these new drugs, and eventually we will lose antibiotic production altogether. But the second, and the more sustainable method, is greater restrictions on antibiotics today. Currently, you need a prescription to obtain antibiotics. However, these prescriptions are fairly easy to get, and doctors just give them away like that. But we need to be more sensible and more careful with how we use these. First of all, we should only give antibiotics to patients who really need them. We need to give them to patients who have very dangerous and life-threatening infections that this could potentially save their lives. And second of all, doctors should not prescribe antibiotics unless they're 100% sure that the infection is bacterial. Too many times, doctors are prescribing antibiotics for viral infections unwillingly. They don't know that it is viral, but they give it to them anyway, it's just as a precaution. This offers no benefit to the patient because antibiotics have no effect against viruses. So the patient is not getting any better, but we're introducing all these antibiotics into the environment, and this is giving the bacterial environmental pressures to evolve and become resistant. With each course of antibiotics that we prescribe, bacteria are becoming more and more resistant. Doctors and patients need to lose this short-term sense of thinking and adopt a long-term thinking so that what they do now, they will know will have consequences on medicine in the future. In the words of Andrew Reid, when we attack infections with antibiotics, we are attacking life, and life evolves back. Thank you.